Another day in the marina here in Langkawi, Malaysia. Back in the engine again. Something new and different for you, babe. Oh, nothing broken this time, that's, that's a good thing. I'm just replacing the cover plate. This is a new cover plate I ordered. Um, along with some new screws, there's the old cover plate. It's really heavily worn on the inside. And um, yeah, it's definitely seen better days. It's almost like falling apart. And the, uh, all the heads of the, they put little um, flat head screws in here. And they should, I think they should be little, little hex heads, um, bolts, but either way I've replaced all them because I could only actually just get that out. They've, over the years they've just been stripped back. So, replace all that, some new screws, new cover plate. Um, it's been 12 months, Nelly, the old impellers. Looks pretty good. Um, so that's alright. I'm going to replace it anyway because it's open. Put a new one in. And away we go. Just a little bit of preventative maintenance along away the way. We go. Where are we going? Don't know yet. Who knows? Ready for someone to go somewhere. So we've got a little bit of lube to pull the lubricant that they come with. Like a bit of lube by the look of it there, honey. Well, more lube the better in this case. So you get these wings going the right way. So we, we spin actually anti-clockwise, so I'll push it in so that the fins actually fold back to the way that it's actually going to be spinning. More of that on there. Not good enough. It is there, the fins are facing backwards because it spins anti-clockwise, so I've turned it in anti-clockwise, the way it's going to go. Put the plate on, and away we go. Don't drop those little screws oh, there, no, Cap. Stop it, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> What it is, a shiny oh, and new. Is. Nice new shiny cover plate for the water pump. The raw water intake. New screws. New impeller. Good for a year, hopefully. Today, we are helping out another cruising family. These guys are from New Zealand and they just bought this boat. Problem is, the engine doesn't work and they need to get the boat to a boatyard to haul out the old girl. The boatyard is about three nautical miles away, across the bay. So how does one get a 50 ton sailing boat that engine doesn't work out of a marina? Well, like this. Good morning. Just had a little quick cup of tea to take with me this morning. About to head into Kua, to the other end of Langkawi, to tow a boat, tow a yacht that's been sitting for four years. It's um, get towed to the slipway to uh, be hauled out. 50 tons to tow with two tenders and a fishing boat. Brent had organised a local fishing boat and a few dinghies to help keep her on course and keep her moving. Once the boys arrived at the marina, the fishing boat was attached by rope to the front of the bow. And the dinghies were on standby to help with the manoeuvring out of the berth. This is the tricky bit, getting out of here without hitting or damaging any other boat. This sailing boat to now now is over 50 feet long and weighs 50 tonnes. So she was a bit tough to get moving, but once she moved, it was all go. He has steering, but remember, no engine.
Lee and Andrea were acting as small tugboats, manoeuvring to now now where they wanted her to go. And so far, so good. That was a hard bit, wasn't it? Turning it around. Yeah, we just got to get past this wall now and we'll be all right. Yeah. It was a slow journey across the bay. So everything's gone pretty smooth. We're nearly at the shipyard. Captain's happy? Very happy. Not there yet, but we have a little bit of a cold one in between. After about an hour, we got to where she needed to be lifted at. The guys at the boatyard had fun moving four years of growth and the kids saving the crabs one crab at a time. And she was parked up. Well, it's bloody hot and uh, the kids and I are heading back to the ferry. Boat's out, looks good. Everything went smoothly, so I think Andrea and uh, Brent are stoked. Look at this boat. She's a top heavy, aren't they? So I'm pretty spoiled. This is what I woke up to today. Woke up with a bit of a croaky voice too. Had a cold the last two, three days, but I feel really good today, but it just, I sound terrible. Um, went for a run yesterday morning, Lee came with me uh, for half of it and I kept going and I came across a cobra. So I turned around and came back. <laughs> Apparently there's lots of snakes on the island and uh, yeah, it's true. Didn't have any cameras with me though. So. Langkawi is an archipelago made up of 99 islands on Malaysia's west coast. Some days we go to the mainland for a drive and to eat. These are donuts that are freshly made here every day. The traditional donut here has a filling with tomato sambal and some, some kind of fish concoction, but the kids with more fans are the ones covered in sugar. Salaga Tuju Langkawi. Tuju translated is seven, and these are the seven wells falls. We have showed you this place before, but it's wet season now, 
So with the rain comes cleaner swimming holes. Take you home tonight. And it's a beautiful place to cool off for the afternoon. Oh, so here goes nothing. I hope it turns into something. I'm standing on this high dive, just about to jump in. And that smile's like a lighthouse guiding me ashore. I've been stolen here long enough, I can't win anymore. It's a shot in the dark, and the odds are stacked. Baby, you hit me so hard, like a heart attack. She may be out of my league, I may be out of my mind. But I'm ready to jump now, I'm ready to fly. So if the planets align and the stars, they shine just right. I might take you. It's like, must be 40 knots in the marina here. Crazy. Wet season here in Lankawi starts in about April and goes until October. So downpours of rain, strong winds and big storms are very frequent this time of year. And every time the weather was like this, it made us think maybe it's not the right time to leave just yet. Remember how we left our generator in Thailand to get fixed? Well, today, Little Red came back to us. What do you got there, Captain? So, Lee's just went and picked up our generator that has been brought down from Phuket by Tom. Thanks, Tom. You're an absolute legend, mate. And um, we're just waiting on our sails now. It's a lovely day here at Langkawi. It's been a light sometimes heavy drizzle with thunderstorms and lightning. All our cushions are wet, <laughs> everything is wet. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Lunch today aboard Catalpa is a vegetable bake and salad made by the guy with the many talents. That's right, ladies, he now cooks too. And it was delicious. Oh, good morning, everyone. It's a day, a billion in the marina and Lee's in bed we just feel like it's groundhog day and we're really over being here I think we've only got a few more days and our new sails will arrive so um, unless someone comes and buys Catalpa we're gonna be out of here thank the Lord Catalpa is still up for grabs guys so if you are dreaming of sailing away and Catalpa looks like the boat for you then make sure you send us an email. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this episode made you smile. Please like, subscribe and join us next time as we go chasing waterfalls and Lee adds some shine to the engine bay. I know I am close.